All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, World Warriors Collective. We're here with the um, the PlayStation State of Play that they announced. And uh, I'm right here. I'm watching it on um, on my TV screen, which is going a little bit faster than um, Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Then what? It was going a little bit faster on my TV than it is on a laptop. So, we're going to be, this is live reaction recording right here. So, get this in. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me good. So this could always look pretty suave. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, probably some errands to run. There's a little time to wait on loading screens. The dual sense wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers to your fingertips. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hook shot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jet board. And really feel the suck when we vacuum as Dingo Dada. Looking to get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new dimension of enhanced 3D audio. I hope the TV isn't too loud. I got it low. This 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way? Leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals. For things like time trials, flashback levels. Oh, you can. Oh, that's dope. So they can transfer the PS4 save profiles to the PS5, so you ain't got to lose your progress if you. PlayStation 4, and you use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, and one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundredth. There's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time on PlayStation 5. Yeah, that's dope. I'm gonna be switching because obviously this is going faster. The TV is going. Uh... Welcome back, Crash. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some great updates lined up for you. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring. Oh, I think this is the one I was. Studios. I think this is the one I was thinking about. Hey, we at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Yeah, Re Returnal. Return, you will play as Selene, an Astra scout. Crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Oh, this is like, um, what's the damn game? What was the name of that game? Um, turn this down. That should be it. That should be good. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Move this up for you. With the large variety of enemies and the vast number of unique move sets each possess, combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be different, enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers. Ah. You have to think fast and adapt. Here you can see the use of the lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can require in the game. That was dope. What was that post apocalyptic game there? With uh, Norman Reed. across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. 
These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make each cycle feel unique. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players Death Stranding, that's what this reminded me of. ...the story of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. There's no comfort here. No safe space. That's one that's, that's interesting. I like the concept of that. So return. So they still don't have a, a release date for it yet, but it's definitely a dope game. Is that that Destruction All Stars? Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. Next, let's take a closer look at a high-impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. It's basically dodgeball for the whole city. Looks fun, but I'm so sick of battle royal games at this point. It's like Studios. we're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last-second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork makes the dream work in Knockout City. If it's your so cool. Match, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. We're playing in Back Alley Brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. So you can even use somebody else as a ball? You can literally become the ball, a new weapon for your teammate. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. See you soon, brawlers. Okay, Knockout City. Oh. For something new. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game Slow from the team at Slow Clap. Awesome. Wait a minute, this is already done. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Beta was February 20th and 21st. It's already over. What kind of crazy they would do that for a PlayStation? That, that don't make sense. That's a new state of play. Why would they give an old beta? I don't know. Whatever. This looked dope though.
Sifu. So it's coming out this year, but. Hope it's not a battle royal game. Just, just don't give me that. That was the debut of Sifu coming to the PS5 Solar Slash. later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. We're not the guys that made the Fuji game or the Fiji, whatever. The guy who was trying to escape from prison. It was like one big boss rush game. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her homeworld. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. The card. See, I, Ray will I don't. I actually like games like that. Sentinels of this void, wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're mm. excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. So it's, it's coming out later this year. That was hard. I like that. That reminded me of that, that Fiji, that prison break. Scary games. This next one is for you. I need some more horror games. It's like horror games are taking a backseat. You are nothing. You are small. Pathetic. This is another Five Nights at Freddy's. One more. Are you ready? Five, first off, if this Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's is not. It is. Five Nights at Freddy's is not a scary game. I don't know why people say that. It's actually comical. Like, it's, it's not funny. Like, like it's not scary. I mean, the suspense is there, but it's more, like, hilarious. On the flip side, though, all the characters seem like they didn't got buff. Of 
takes place in an oversized Chuck E. Cheese. Security breach. Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. That's what it is. Oh, they call it a security breach, but it's Five Nights at Freddy's. So we're getting that later this year. That was a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Yeah, this is supposed to be coming out later on this year. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Oh, that's crazy. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokans that you must try to save along the way, but they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. Okay. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. I wonder if he still has his, um, his mind control technique. Threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, Possession. This mystical power oh, he still got you to it. take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also Ooh. more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you managed to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what I hope that's how the game starts off with his face being like that. It's going with April 6th. That's dope. I like all of the Abe Odyssey games. That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. That's hard. I like that. Moving on. It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we Man, it's the one I was hoping that they showcase. spoke up on. I need to see more of this. Rotten, my friend of it. 
are usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for the forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power fades. This is like it's gonna be just like Sun Wukong's or Hack and Slash. They got to do better than this. They want somebody to get involved with it. So it just attaches itself to any damn body and just uses it as a host. That was cool. Pass of the spirit guide is a lonely one. August 24th. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Death Loop, a PS5 first Death Loop. Okay, so now we're getting arcane. Maybe we need to. Hey, yo, they gotta sell people on this. It's already sold. They just need to, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's in the doo wop days. This is Ramblin Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Is he a invisible? Wait, so what? What's happening? Is, is the character shape shifting or he's switching between different characters? like dishonored in a sense rather it's playing like dishonored Boy, do I got a bone to pick with you? Let's do it 
again tomorrow. Song's over, people. And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. Bethesda. So, same people that made... Um... Same one that made, uh, what's his name? Before we leave... How about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Was it moving to PS5? Hope it's an announcement for part two. But they got a DLC for it? Ain't that old? Oh, wait a minute. That's um. Oh, damn. That's not Tifa. That's old girl. Um. Yuffie, the one of the secret characters from uh from the, the original one. They got her looking different too. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though. Sinon and Yuffie, so. Well, of course he will. The only thing that can make this better if Vincent was there. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, we gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop! We gotta help. Okay, so this is clearly DLC for them too. Integrate, okay. So it's an expansion. Ain't that a sixteen? Now let the hunch begin. That face looked familiar. I swear I feel like I should know it and I'm mad I don't. Get down here, bro. Of course they got a PS5 uh, announcement. Wait, it seems it looked like a little bit better on the PS4. They're not really selling me on the graphics for the PS5. Well, that well, that's a good shot. But the other ones didn't look too good. Falk looks better on the PS4. That looks better. Yeah, the lighting looks better, but some of those shots earlier didn't look good with the lighting. They didn't think that through. Like they, they really could have sold, sold on better shots if they was going to do that.
Loading times better be like non-existent at this point. A photo mode, really? So Fisher and Yuffie. Okay. You got Cena with him. With her. Wait, what? She's the star of the show now. If you own a copy of the PlayStation 4 version, upgrade. Ah, oh, that's dope. That's hard. So that's coming out what July 6th? I mean June 6th. That was hard. That was a good state of play. That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate coming to the PS5 console later. So Integrate is fire. Um, and that's our show. We hope you're they could go somewhere with that Crash Bandicoot. To come in 2021. Uh, See you next time. Returnal. That, that was that was a good showing. Um, what else? Death Loop. Of course, that's always good. Bridge, uh, Bridge of Spirits. That was that was amazing. Um, we got next gen console watch. I don't really care for seeing that. It's just live stream. So this is all the good stuff. So they showed a lot of great things. They they kept it, sh you know, sh uh, sh strictly with the gaming, with the games. They uh did some updates um as far as being able to transfer data over from the PS4 to the PS5. That's always a good thing with, with Crash Bandicoot and um and uh. And uh, with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I think it was another one that they said that you could do that with. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that Solar Ash, that was a good one. Um, uh, Bridge of Spirits, that one kind of got my attention a little bit. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Again, Five Nights at Freddy's to me, like I'm a kid, like I grew up like... <laughs> watching scary movies and uh, I, to me scary mo was, was scary to other people is more like comedy to me because I grew up like watching scary movies like it ain't nothing so um, the that suspense factor isn't really there and when it comes to any type of horror or anything any type of horror genre games everybody's waiting on the new um, everybody's waiting on Resident Evil Village Resident Evil 8 Village so nothing else really catching people attention so um, so when they said Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach was going to be a, a, a scary game, I kind of laughed a little bit because it's like Five Nights at Freddy's isn't scary. It's comical. It's actually hilarious. But um, different strokes for different folks. Why is this pop up on my screen? Blocking my face. But yep, so that was the state of play for February 25th, 2021 on the PlayStation uh live stream hope you guys enjoyed it i did um until next time peace remember be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy in battle world warriors collective